Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Thanks. <laughs> hey! Ooh. <laughs> Woo, you should see a specialist. <laughs> oh, sorry. Excuse me. Never know where those elbows have been, right? <laughs> there you go, buddy. There you go. Oh, oh. Freshly mopped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dude, check this out. Hey, dude. Sorry. Noah, look. It's cool. Look, it's for little kids. Seriously, man. That's her dreadlock isn't for little kids. All right, then how about Glitter Girl? Yeah, man, she's cool too. Anyone need a ride? Oh, oh, sweet. He got it. Oh, that's awesome. <sighs> Still has that brand new license smell. Oh, that's yeah. Right. So, uh, who wants to go for a road trip? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's man. Awesome. Fun, man. Sweet. We can go to the park and play on the swings. The park? Um, I was thinking, like, we go to the music store and check out those new guitar oh, amps. Oh, yeah, they're so sweet. awesome. Well, I mean, that's cool. I just need to borrow your phone so I can call my mom. Mom? Okay. Call your mommy then. Cool, can I see it? My phone. Okay, where's your phone? I ran over it with my scooter. You mean your tricycle? No, I'm talking about my three-wheeled scooter. It's a tricycle, dude. It's got all the bells. <laughs> you know what? I just realized I don't have a booster seat in my car, so uh, oh. looks like you're gonna have to miss out on this one, man. Oh. <laughs> see ya. Later. Have fun. This together It's not fair. I know. Did you try it for the rubies too? And did they tell you their, your dancing wasn't good enough for them? <laughs> no, I'm talking about how everyone keeps treating me like I'm a child. Oh, you're just imagining things. I wasn't worried about that. Excuse me, little drummer boy. Hey, Troy, can I have some ketchup? You bet you can, Alexis. <laughs> Whoop! Boys, boys. Thanks. <sighs> you see? I know. And it's the fans that are losing out. Think about the fans. No, Troy, did you not hear her call me little drummer boy? Oh, that's not as bad as what I was called when I was your age. What was that? <laughs> Smelling of Troy. Ouch. Yeah, I really wasn't friends with soap. Well, for that matter, I wasn't really friends with anybody. <laughs> well, it looks like you really turned things around. Oh, thanks, man. Woo, kinda. <sighs> By the way, the cafe's looking great. Oh, thank you. I've got a reality TV producer coming over. And hopefully, it's going to turn into a reality TV show. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Just waiting for a phone call from Mr. Bridges. Oh, excuse me. Club I Shine, this is Troy, uh, where we shine because God shines through us. Make sure you try our delicious vanilla shakes. We top it with a little uh, bit of chocolate and... Hello? Oh, Mr. Bridges. Hey. So, you... What? Hello? Are you kidding? But... Oh. Okay, just be careful. Man. I 
animals. Yeah, apparently a truck jackknifed on the highway, a grocery truck, and threw all these ravioli cans all over the place. Oh my gosh, is everyone okay? Yeah, but there's really no getting pasta it. You get it? <laughs> Come on, pasta it, right? That's good. Because technically ravioli is pasta. I didn't know if you knew that. Yeah. yeah. What about the reality TV show? Well, I guess I'll just have to shut down the cafe for a little while. Oh, man. Or to let me run things for the rest of the day. <laughs> Aren't you a little, you know... Young? Busy. I meant busy, okay? Oh, man, this is perfect. What better way to show people how grown up I am than by running an eclectic neo-American cafe? Flying a commercial airline? What? Yeah. You're flying a commercial airline or... Um, Oh, Supreme Court Justice, Intergalactic Space Hero, you know, any of those. Huh? I mean, technically, they don't have to call their mom to pick them up from school. <laughs> so what do you say? Am I man enough? Hmm. All right. Yes! Just make sure you keep the place clean. Oh, yeah, you got right. it, Troy. All right. <laughs> I'm Chelsea Music. Kids can make a difference no matter how old they are. Even though we have met, you're someone I can't forget. And I want to give you just a little respect. I'm looking out in front. set of rules, but the Bible tells us that we need to honor our parents in everything that we do. Remember, they're saying no because they love you. Be thankful that your parents love you enough to tell you no. And while we might not understand all the decisions that our parents make for us, God has given us our parents and we need to honor them in that. And now, it's time for a KHVN Eyewitness News Break with Anchorman Gabriel Fly. Hello, I'm Gabriel Fly, and this is a KHVN Science News Break. I am joined today by the smartest, most award-winning scientist in the United States. Please help me welcome Dr. Schlepp Schleppi. Doctor, thanks for having me. I understand you've invented a pill that makes a kid grow into an, an adult in a matter of minutes. Is that true? Oh, you bet. This is going to revolutionize the world. No more kids, no more teenagers. We all just go straight to adults. Wow. Just think of the possibilities. Yep. Now with a counterpoint, our very own Sheila. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, have you lost your mind? 
What about all the fun things you would miss, like discovering things for the first time or learning how to play, riding your first bike, your first water park, running on the beach, falling down and getting right back up because it didn't hurt? How about eating whatever you want and never having to worry about that project your boss wanted you to turn in the next morning? How about being driven around like you're some big deal and never having to pay bills? Or what about clubs that make no sense, like the club of no boys, or no girls for that matter? How about building a mini bridge out of cookies and then eating one, seeing it all fall down, only to build it up again, this time with pickles? How about spilling red juice on your carpet and crying so your mom doesn't get too upset, but when she sees you crying, she gives you more red juice? What about first love, or what you think is love, but really turns out to be like, ugh, cooties? How about staying on the phone forever, texting and talking and texting some more? Or Christmas at Grandma's, when she squeezes your cheeks and slips some cash in your pocket and says, go buy a new CD from Mission 6. And what about school dances and parades and fall festivals and fairs and hand-me-downs from the whole family? And messing with actors dressed up like dinosaurs at the local party place? And what about getting your allowance for taking out the trash every once in a while? Huh. And what about painting your dog's toenails and putting a funny hat on him, making him look like Abraham Lincoln with a tail? Well, you have a good point there. Doctor, what do you think? And that's all the time we have. Coming next week, the beginning of our six-part study on how cool it is to be a kid. I'm Gabriel Fly. Now back to your program, Already in Progress. What about the reality TV show? Well, I guess I'll just have to shut down the cafe for a little while. Or, to let me run things for the rest of the day. Wow. What happened? Where are we? What is this place? Hello, and welcome to David and Shea David. I'm your very grown up and mature host, David. Care to be seated? Uh, sure. <laughs> a little older to be playing dress up now, aren't we? <laughs> right this way. Ooh. The special today is la pizza or la hot dog with les french fries. Um, do you have any la soda or la dessert? Or how about la stop acting weird? Also for your entertainment. I love this song. Go Chelsea. Chelsea. <laughs> Wait, where's Troy? Yeah. Uh, he had to go do something, so he left me, a very grown up and responsible person, in charge. <laughs> okay, well, uh, if you see him around, uh, can you send him over so we can order? Seriously, I'm hungry. <sighs> Excuse me. Yes, madam. Yeah, David, um, first, stop calling me madam. And secondly, where's our coffee? Oh, I am very sorry, Miss Olivia. The chef will be fired at once. Um, if you're running the place, doesn't that make you the chef? Oh, uh, uh the chef has been rehired, but he now works for free. Hello? My soup, it's stone cold. It's supposed to be chicken noodle soup, actually. Yeah, and where's my mince pie? Well, I don't really know what that is, but if you want some chicken noodle soup, I can hook you up with that. Mm. What's with that soup? It's like really cold. Ugh. Are you still planning on paying me like you said? Uh, here. Is that soup used? I prefer the term pre-owned. This is not what we talked about. We'll just consider it a down payment. No, we had a deal. No pay, no play. No, wait, you can't. <laughs> David, where's my soup? Where's my coffee? Where are my car keys? Yeah, let's get out of here. Where do you want to go? How about Baji Barbecue? We're yeah. in. No, wait, you can't leave. Just watch us. Let's go. No, seriously, everything's free. Yeah, everything's on the house. Really? Well, I mean, that would be the mature solution to this problem, don't you think? Please say yes. Oh, sweet. Well, the only thing I like better than Baji Barbecues is Free food. Very oh, true. Yeah. All right, Very so true. what will it be? Oh, let's see. Um, I'll take one. 
of everything you have. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me three. Yeah. Uh, what have I done? Hey, I'm Anthony. You're watching I Shine Connect. Let God be big in your life today. When I was six years old, I thought 10 was like the ultimate age. I couldn't wait to turn 10 because I thought that's when you became cool. Finally, once I turned 10, I just wanted to be 13 because then I'd be a teenager and that would be pretty sweet. But as soon as I turned 13, I just wanted to be the sweet 16. It's like it never seemed to end. What was with this idea of constantly wanting to be older? I mean, what looks so glamorous about it? Just think about, you know, when you were little, uh, did you ever feel like your bedtime was a conspiracy against you? I know I was just so upset when like all the older kids and adults got to stay up late while I had to go to bed. I mean, I was convinced that as soon as I walked up the stairs, there was a total party going on without me. The funny thing is, now that I'm older, I see that there actually wasn't a party after I went to bed after all. The only thing that came with staying up later was the responsibility of knowing how to use your time. You know, when I was young, my parents knew they needed to set a bedtime for me so that I'd get the proper amount of sleep. You know, if they just let me stay up till whenever I wanted, I would have stayed up all night and would totally not have been able to get up the next morning. See, when we try to act older than we really are, it can get us into trouble. For instance, young girls who try and dress and look older can get themselves into dangerous situations. Many male and female celebrities have found themselves in that same trap at a young age as culture pushed them into this wild Hollywood world that they just weren't prepared to handle. Ironically, while in some ways culture has pushed young people into growing up too soon, in other ways they've kept us from maturing. Many adults have tragically low expectations for us youth, which just sets the bar for low results. You know, we have this stereotype hanging over our heads that we're just teenagers, even lost causes. But instead of that making us upset that we've been belittled like this, we sometimes buy into it. You know, we use the excuse that, well, we're just kids, as our excuse to be rebellious and do stupid things. But you know, God meant so much more for us than that. In 1 Timothy 4.12, he says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young, but set an example for believers in speech and life and love and faith and impurity. You have absolutely no reason to be ashamed of the ages you are. God doesn't have to wait till you're 13 or 16 or even 30. As this verse said, you've been called to set an example for God, whatever age you are. While you may not be able to drive a car yet, you are able to be an example for God. Your driver's license will come. Your opportunity to change the world is already here. Free food. Very oh, true. Yeah. Right, Very so true. what will it be? Oh, let's see. Um, I'll take one of everything you have. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me three. Yeah. <sighs> How many calories do you think we just ate? All of them? <laughs> I think I'm blind. I keep trying to swallow, but nothing happens. Welcome to Davis Shea David. Ew! What's going on? Just follow me. Here. Um, do you have a clean one? <sighs> so I think I'll have... We're out. But I didn't order yet. Doesn't matter. We're out. Of everything? Yes, I'm telling you, they're like locusts coming down on Egypt. <laughs> Except real locusts don't suck the chocolate out of the bottle. So what should I do? Well, I don't know. I hear Baji barbecue is pretty good. Uh... Hey, hey, wait, wait. What could you possibly want now? I need a wheelbarrow to take me home. Oh, 
And possibly a dessert menu, please. All right, that's it. It's time for me to start making some grown-up decisions. Get out! Come on, man, what? Out! You too, ladies. Yeah, that's right. Everyone get out of here. Oh, man. Who's in charge now? How am I going to clean this up before Troy gets back? This, mi amigo, is where all the magic happens. Oh, no. I'm Paige Armstrong, and you're watching I Shine Connect. Learn how much God loves you no matter what. Hey guys, I'm Chelsea Music, and you're watching Around the Word in 60 Seconds, give or take a few. Today I'm reading from Philippians 4.13, and it reads, I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. So what this means is God's always there for you. Through the good, through the bad, He's there for you. Say you have a big test coming up in school, and you're super nervous for it, don't sweat it. All you have to do is study hard, and when the time comes, ask for God to give you his strength. He'll give it to you. He won't ever deny you. I know for my first big concert, I was so nervous. So many people were in the crowd, and I thought I was going to ruin it when I got up on stage. But you know what? I did awesome, and that's because I asked God for his strength. So whenever you're just kind of scared or you don't know if you can do something, don't worry about it. God's there for you, and he has your back all the time. So make sure you ask him for it. The one, the only, Jamie Grace. I'll keep my head up, no matter how high. I won't give up, I won't, I'll keep reaching up for the sky. I won't give up, no. People say I'm crazy and maybe it's true. Or maybe I'm just a little caught up in who I can be. If I don't let their words get so me. If I keep my eyes fixed on the purpose for me. People may never understand and that's okay. I'm so sorry. What happened? Well, I may have uh, let things slide a little. Let things slide a little? I was only gone for 57 minutes. Yeah, felt to me a little more like an hour. Oh, why? Why? Oh my goodness. No, 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 please, no, no. no. <sighs> Sir, this is all my fault. I thought I was mature enough to wash this cafe by myself all day, and uh, as gonna, you can see... I was going to be on TV. No! It's perfect. What? 
What? It's exactly what we're looking for. It is? Troy, congratulations. You got the show. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Man, what is this show about anyway? Oh, America's Dingiest Diner. Wow. Who in their right mind would want to be on a show like that? I'm going to be on TV! <laughs> you know, kid, we're actually looking for a host. Someone young, but, you know, mature. What do you say? You grown up enough for TV? Uh, thanks, sir, but I think I'm just going to stick to being a kid for now. Suit yourself. Hey, but I tell you what, when you grow up, you ever want to be a star, you give me a call. Got it. All right, I think we're done here. Let's wrap it up. Wow. <laughs> so, can I at least help you clean this stuff up? Oh, no, 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 no. We don't want to mess it up. <laughs> hey, why don't you go call Michael and go cruising or something, huh? <laughs> nah, I think I'm going to hit the park and play on the swings. Swings? I love the swings. I'll call my mom. On the way. <laughs> Last one has a run neck. <laughs> 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 Woo!